What's up guys? Originally I was going to put this video at the end of uh, my uh, Giant Tiger out and about vid, but um, that went on way too long, so I decided instead of making you wait for 10 minutes to get to this point, I do this as a separate video. And this is my um, this is my uh, Giant Tiger pickups I just got today. Uh, as you can see here, I got uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. This is the uh, the, uh, with the re-release one, which is uh, two discs on Blu-ray and I think it's three discs on DVD. Been meaning to get this movie for a while. I did have um, the um, Blockbuster exclusive, which really isn't really an exclusive. It just says that it has none of the special uh, features that were on the um, that were on the um, two disc version on DVD. It just had like an exclusive uh, interview with Rob Zombie, which which is kind of lame. I'd show you too, but I, I think I got it down in the basement somewhere, so I'm not going to bother doing a comparison thing with it. But um, this movie is a movie that I have mixed feelings about. Like I enjoyed the film, but I rather uh, that it wasn't called Halloween. I wish they called it something else. But um, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's not as good as. Uh, the original Halloween, obviously. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. Alright. Psycho. I actually found this uh, Blu-ray set after I uh, stopped filming the video. Um, this thing has got tons of uh, special features on it. The making of Psycho. Psycho Sound. Oh, I won't read the whole thing. It's kind of boring. Um, it's got a commentary by um, Stephen uh, Robello. And I guess he was he was the author of Alfred Hitchcock and the Making of Psycho. Um, I I was going to buy this on DVD because it came in a nice little um, almost like a hard box thing that uh, Universal was doing for a little bit there. But you know, you know, seven dollars for a Blu-ray and Psycho at that with all the special features is pretty cool. I figured I'd might as well pick this one up too because I don't own this movie. I've never owned Psycho. Uh, I own Psycho two. And uh, which may end up being like a an upgrade uh, if I ever decide to go for the Scream Factory one. But I digress. Let's go on to the next one. <coughs> That's what I get for shooting outside. But the uh, the light's good. All right. From a whisper to a scream. Now this movie's an anthology. And I remember watching this movie back in the 80s, but it wasn't called this title. And in fact, it confused me. When I saw this, I thought this was something else. The original title for this movie was um, The Offspring. And, um, and Vincent Price is in it, but he's in the, the wraparound part. He's, you know, like a historian talking about why this town is evil or something like that. Um, should be interesting to watch this one again. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Never forgotten it, though. Um, I remember liking at least two out of the three stories. Although I think the middle story there wasn't as good. But, uh, looking forward to watching this. And, uh, glad to have it in my collection. Alright. Mirrors 2. Um, now this is no, like, a guilty uh, pleasure purchase for me. Because the main reason why I got this is, um, I remember the horror man, Joe, was talking about this movie. And I guess one of the girls in this movie used to be on a show called Even Stevens with Shia LaBeau back in probably the early 2000s. But she's in this, so that's the main reason why I got it. It's particular. And this movie also comes with the, uh, the original Korean movie. Um, Mirrors was a remake of a Korean movie called in, uh, Into the Mirror. So I found it interesting that, uh, that Fox would put it the original with the sequel, not with the, uh, the original movie. But, uh, you know, six, uh, $3 is not bad for this. Alright. Now, these ones I got for my, my daughter. She's a big Goosebumps fan. And it's really hard, it's been really hard to find uh, Goosebumps DVDs around here. And when I usually do, I usually scoop them up. But double packs are pretty cool. Especially for uh, $7. So this one's got... Uh, Scary House, and then uh, I think this one is called Trilogy. The 
trilogy, like like ch like chiller, chiller, you know, chiller OG, I don't know. So I'm sure she'll be watching this tonight. And then Perfect School and My Best Friend is Invisible, which probably I don't know, it's kind of goofy. I'd like to get her um, some of those uh, um, Haunting Hour DVDs. Those are pretty expensive, though, but they're also released by uh, Shout Factory. All right. Now, this next pickup here is special because um, this pickup isn't for me. It's for, it's for one of you guys that are watching this video. Um, recently, I just hit uh, 300 subscribers, and uh, I was thinking I always wanted to do a contest, so I was um, looking around at Game Cycle. Um, last week, and I came across this uh, DVD. It's the um, Anchor Bay. This is out of print. It's a uh, Hell Knight. Um, I do own this on uh, DVD. My wife bought me a copy back in uh, 2002, and I'll, which I'll show you right here. This is the 2002 release. I'll put them by, side by side so you can see. Uh, originally, I was going to get this for myself. But then I hit 300 subscribers, and I thought, you know what? It's kind of stupid to um, buy the same movie twice when it's one of the things really different is that the um, the font on the title is better. But as you can see here, um, the original release is a much better font than uh, the 2002 release. Like this was released originally back in 1999. I'll turn them around. I think the artwork on the back is also different. Who would have thought? Mm, special features are the same. But yeah, you know, I actually prefer the little, little Riding Hood thing there as opposed to what did there. Yeah, let's see here. Let's open up the disc. Okay, and there's the original font there. As you can see there's not much difference with that. So, I was thinking about in a couple of weeks I'm going to hold a contest. And the reason why I stuck at the end of the video is because if anyone is watching this, they'll get a heads up that I'm going to be doing a contest. And uh, so this is the prize here. Uh, Linda Blair in Hell Knight. And also, I'm giving away with uh, the DVD. This is a, an old uh, edition of Room Org. This is from 1999. As you can see here, we probably can't make it out, but I originally paid uh, $3.95 for it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure like the old uh, room orgs go for a lot more than that. So it's in good shape, which is a rarity for me. I'm usually bad with my uh, my magazines. I treat them like crap. I gotta stop doing that. Uh, so thanks to everyone who's ever like you know commented or watched one of my videos or favorited or thumbs up or whatever. And uh, so in a couple weeks I'll be doing a contest. Um, and it's going to be open to everybody uh, worldwide because a lot of people I talk to don't live in uh, North America. Like there's a fair bit that do, but there's a couple guys that I talk to a lot that are nowhere close by, and I, I'm not going to have a contest and then not let everybody get a chance to win. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.